Right, next up on the list for this morning uh, is the KS66 uh, Smart Drone, Shark Drone it says there. Um, some of the uh, English translations leave something to be desired, don't they? Okay, so it's, it's got a brushless motor, it's got graphic transmission. Uh, not with anything like the previous uh, one's got to go by. Uh, trajectory, delineation, optical flow. Uh, let's have a look here. Beauty filter. Well, I certainly need that. Safety protection. Uh, gesture photography. 50 times the magnification. Well, don't hold your hopes out on that. It's not going to be very good. Um, low power reminder. Okay, so there's a safety feature in there. Let's have a look see what we get in the box very quickly. Um, I've got in mind that the, the weather's not going to be too kind later on. So I want to get the ones I've been delayed on doing out. It's quite sharpish. Okay, there's a, spe there's a le set of legs in there, so if you don't want to use... Get that out. These legs. Okay, you, it can sit on there as well. Um, the batteries are... A seven, uh, 3 .7, 2000 milliamp battery slots in the back, similar uh, to the original DJI and the one by WL Toys that went in the top, the Q333 I think that's called, I've still got that. Um, right okay so that's that, um, also in the bag you get a screwdriver, a charger and some spare propellers. We have the usual instructions, uh, this time they're quite a long fold out. One side for your Chinese customers and another side for your English customers with, I always like this, it's a uh, description of what your functions are on the transmitter. The transmitter itself is powered by three AA batteries by the looks of it. Yep, AA batteries. Okay, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be all pretty much the same as we turn as regards to setup so you've got your photo and video button there I'll keep that one out in as a quick reference guide and that is is this the flow one uh, this is your app details for iOS Android Google Play yep it's a flow one so that's a Wi-Fi UAV Keep those down there and I'll tell you what I'll do um, I'll quickly cut off the video I'll set it all up and we'll get ready for a flight right okay uh, it's all set up um, the Wi-Fi is connected flow uh, is called uh, which you can download from Google iOS and Android apps uh, we put it into rate 3 Okay. Okay. Now, I do remember. Is it Perth Oz, Australia? He did a review on one of these, and he said the camera was too far down. So it means you have to get some height in order to get any. And I've just lost Wi-Fi. Let's see if I can connect there. It says it's unconnected. So the Wi-Fi distance doesn't look very good. No, let's bring it in again. There we go. Now I've got that again. Let's take a snapshot. As you can see, that camera 
is pointing right down there, so it's quite a, like an acute angle, isn't it? And that that Wi-Fi is breaking up. It's not very good. So I'm sure the expert among you would know how to uh, deal with that. Anyway, right, let's have... It looks as though we're not going to have much joy with Wi-Fi out there. And it's already breaking up. So um, we're looking at, what, 15 metres? It's not very much at all, is it? And that is full forward in rate three. Not very fast at all. But no, that's, I've totally lost it. I need to be within quite a short range for it to pick up again. And it's still not doing it. So I can only report as a find, I'm afraid. I can't make excuses for something that's not going to work. Now, why there is a constant beeping, I cannot tell you. Anyway, I did manage to get some video. Now, there's some Wi-Fi images and uh, some footage, so I'll upload it on there. Uh, from the previous reviews, the Wi-Fi is not very good. It's very poor. It lets the whole model down. In my view, toy grade. Um, it needs better Wi-Fi, definitely. Okay, that'll do. Uh, there's no point in uh, flogging a dead horse. That's not gonna see the Wi-Fi's just kicked in again. Yeah, and you can see it's virtually nearly over the car. So you can see the angle of that camera. And unfortunately it's quite a narrow field of view as well. So that could be better designed, I think. Right, let's bring it down. Okay, right, so all in all, my thoughts are, it looks nice, it's a good, it's a good design, obviously it saves people thinking too hard if they've got to virtually copy a design, a successful design from a successful manufacturer. I get why they've done it, uh, yeah, it looks nice, it always appeals. Now see, look, look at that, the... Uh, the Wi-Fi is working again now, and it looks quite nice and clear. So it wasn't like that when it was up in the air. It seems to have a lot of transmission problems. Um, let's turn it off. And we'll turn the transmitter off. Come out there. Right, so I, I think it's um, had a bit more research a bit more quality gone into the not so much the design because the, the designs it's already there isn't it all they have to do is copy this design from something else but the the manufacturer the quality of the manufacturer um i think of that a little bit more would would people have paid a little bit more uh to get the the quality um out of this uh yeah i think they might have done uh, a few quid more definitely but uh, all in all uh, this doesn't live up to expectations but then again if you're looking for something to train on and um, maybe get the hang of FPV um, you're not really going to get the hang of FPV through this particular model the app itself I suspect is is good and indeed it has proved itself to be good in other models so uh, it's actually this model which is causing uh, the Wi-Fi problems. Okay, that's my take on it for the time being. Um, I shouldn't think you'll be seeing me flying this one again. But uh, there you go. I can only give you what I find. Right, okay. I'll, um, I've got three more to do. 
Um, I think they're all from the same sort of manufacturer, but they're marketed under different brands and different names and what have you. So pr pretty much of a, a generic lot. Okay, we'll see you on the next video. Until then, take care. Bye for now.